Hey, what's up everyone? Carl D'Souza here. Today we're gonna to talk about the new Microsoft Surface laptop. So I just got this in the mail. I just wanted to unbox this with you guys. Uh, normally you don't see me doing these types of unboxing videos. I'm normally doing uh, power platform development type stuff, but I was so excited to get this in the mail. And so I wanna just uh, go through the unboxing together. We'll take a look at it and um, yeah, see what it looks like. So uh, this is the packaging and it already looks very cool, right? Uh, just very nice, sleek, minimal packaging. And what I'm gonna do is open this up and then you can kind of see here, we have the laptop sitting in right here. So what I'm gonna do is just pop this out here. And there's the laptop. We'll take a look at that in a second. And we'll just see what else we get in the box here. So we get uh, this other little uh, container in here. I'm gonna pop this out. Let's take a look at what this is. All right, so this is just some kind of documentation, a little welcome message. And then we get our power adapter here. Uh, that's pretty standard, Windows, uh, Microsoft Surface power adapter. And that's all we get in the box, right? Let's just go ahead and put this to the side for a second. And what we'll do is take this laptop out of its sleeve now. So it's just like a temporary sleeve that it comes shipped with. It's gonna open this up here. And there is our beautiful laptop. All right, so let me get rid of this for a second. And what I wanna show you guys is, take a look at this. This is the same as the box, right? So they've gonna match the color of the box. And you know, you can see even like the Windows logo when you kind of move it around a little bit, uh, you see that reflection, right? So that's kind of a nice little touch that they've done there. I really like that. But here it is. This is the Microsoft Surface laptop. Um, and this is the Copilot Plus PC. So this is a very new laptop. Uh, like I said, I just, I just received it in the mail. Um, let's go ahead and open this now. So if I open this up here, get a little paper in here. And here it is, okay? So take a look at that, really nice, right? Really nice. We'll go through some of the features in a second, but, or some of the specs. But if I just go and zoom in here a little bit, I want you guys to see this. We have the Copilot keys here, right? The key, Copilot key. So that's like a new addition there. Um, so when you get these new Copilot PCs, you're gonna have that key there and you're gonna be able to do all kinds of Copilot stuff, right? So that's really awesome. Uh, but let's talk about this laptop for a second. If we, I'm just gonna close it here, we'll take a look at some of the ports that they have, this comes with. So if I go ahead and show you guys here, we have a USB-A, two USB-Cs, all right? And here's the power. And then we also have a uh, SD card slot, right? So I got the 15 inch version of this laptop here. I actually got 64 gigs of RAM because I just want it to be as super powerful as it's available. Um, but this is this is the one that comes shipped with Home Edition of Windows 11. There is a new version coming out, a business edition that I just saw online that will ship with Windows 11 Pro. I'm gonna upgrade this to Pro anyway because I need more of the Pro features. But the exciting thing about these laptops is that it's a it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite uh, processor chip in there. And the one for this one is a 12 core. They also have a 10 core with the other models. Um, there's a 13.8 inch laptop that comes with this, that, that's available with this as well. Um, but this is the 15, it has the 12 core. And so these are ARM based PCs, right? So if you think about the, the processing power that you're gonna get with one of these, you'll have a CPU, right? Central processing unit. You'll have the GPU, which is the graphics processing unit. And that's gonna be used for videos and graphics and all that kind of good stuff. And then we have the NPU now, and that's the neural processing unit. So that's for the machine learning stuff, right? So all this Copilot stuff, um, some of it's gonna be running locally on this hardware. And so there's, what Microsoft has said is that this is capable of 45 trillion operations per second, right? Which is insane. They <laughs> say the number, number of things going on. Uh, so, you know, I can't wait to 
to use this for a lot of things, especially video editing, because you want like a really powerful machine that can really handle video editing really well. So that's one of the reasons I got this one. But I'm also excited about all the Copilot stuff. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be super cool. There's there's Copilot embedded into you know so many different technologies now, and uh, really we're just at the beginning of this this whole Copilot thing. We're just gonna see Copilot more and more in different places and being used for more interesting applications, right? So I think that's where things are gonna get really cool for especially for consumers. You know. Uh, we're going to see some some even cooler stuff coming out. We already have seen some some great stuff. So this thing weighs at uh, 3.67 pounds. It's kind of, you know, it's it's not the lightest machine, but it's it's totally acceptable and especially for its power, right? Um, with the ARM processor, hopefully, what we're going to see is that this is able to handle lots of processing power without getting too hot and without kind of lagging. And also, uh, the battery is going to, uh, according to the documentation, it's going to last a pretty long time for what it's doing, right? So you're not going to have to keep it plugged in all the time. So I want to show you guys uh, some of the AI features that come with this laptop. And I think it's still a little bit early, but as with all of these types of new uh, pieces of technology, we're going to see more adoption as we go forward. So the first thing I want to show you guys is I'm going to click here and open up an image here and you can see what I've done. This is actually the restyle image that comes with this photos app and I have a picture of myself here and uh, what you can do here is you can actually uh, type in here how you want that image to look and it's going to apply some formatting and you have some of these suggestions down here as well. So for example with this one I have a renaissance background if I change this to Impressionist, what it's doing now, I believe, is that it is using the local uh, LLM here on the machine, the NPU, in order to uh, generate the background of this image, right? So that's pretty cool. There might be some cloud stuff as well. I'm not sure, but uh, this is kind of a cool feature, and you can adjust the creativity here. Uh, you know, you can, let's make it a watercolor here, and it's changing. There's, you know, there's all different kinds of, uh, interesting things that you can do with this. But like I said, I think this is going to evolve over time. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you guys. The next thing I want to show you guys is good old Microsoft Paint here. And they've changed this up a little bit. Okay, so if I go here, we have this co-creator. I'm going to click on this. And this is a generated art image. As you draw on the canvas, your generated art will appear here. So, you know, this one says like, for example, start with a turtle swimming in the ocean. I'm just going to do like a uh, picture of a cat, for example, right? So I type in cat. Now, nothing's happening right now, but as I start to draw the cat, right? And my drawing is not great. But if I start to draw the cat, then on the right-hand side here, co-creator is starting to pick up on this and do some of the drawing as well, right? So as I keep drawing here, you can see on the right, it is doing some things on the right here. And now it's, you know, it's picking up this image here. And then if I click onto this, I can get this on the canvas now. And we're kind of co-creating here. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. And I think what I'll do is try to do some some more videos on the, the setup and, and the usability, how I'm liking it, right? I'll let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching.